Thank you, Misha. More now on our breaking news. Of course, a train with septic commuters crashes into an empty train, sending dozens to the hospital. That happened after midnight at SEPTA's 69th Street Terminal, and that's where we find Avenue News reporter Trang Dow live to tell us what happened. Trang, good morning. Well, good morning, Rahel and Jim. We've just learned that the operator of the trolley was treated and released from Penn Presbyterian Hospital. In addition, 41 passengers were hurt. But take a look, the trolley involved still here on the tracks with police tape across it. So many people grateful this morning that there were no life-threatening injuries. Paramedics rushed passengers clearly in pain into ambulances after a trolley accident at 69th Street Terminal. A Norristown high speed line trolley was pulling into the terminal around 12:10 a.m. when it crashed into an empty car parked on the tracks. I said something's wrong. A passenger who identified himself as Ronnie says he almost skipped the trolley because he noticed it went past his station and had to reverse. He says the same thing happened at the next several stops. We got to the terminal. I stood up to get off and get ready to get to my bus on time, and uh, smack. Hit, hit, hit the other trolley parked. SEPTA says 42 people, including the operator, are hurt, four of them critically. My face hit the, the wall, put a big hole in the wall, and then I, I went straight down. I blacked out. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, the driver is all banged up, and there was this one girl bleeding out of her face pretty bad. Medics rushed the injured to seven area hospitals. Upper Darby Mayor Tom McCosey says the response was a highly coordinated effort between emergency agencies that was praised by passengers amid the trauma. We had an incident about four months ago. They're always constantly pre-planning this. They're in the terminal with SEPTA. So the cooperation between all the agencies was seamless. Meanwhile, the Norristown High Speed Line is operating every 20 minutes, but no service at Hughes Park or Bryn Mawr, so commuters should definitely expect delays. But for now, we're live outside 69th Street Station. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Rahel, back to you. All right, Trang, thanks for the update.